Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Push on when things are tough and you will see the reward soon. That's what I've been telling myself lately. So I am in a bit of a rut at the moment. I am stuck in a vicious circle of health problems, of worries, stresses. I have a big operation coming up. Will it work? Will I get rid of a long-standing sort of history of pain, discomfort, debilitating issues will change your life? Overactive bladder, horrendous overactive bladder, problems with my leg, all from failed hernia surgeries. Should have been very, very simple, but they were nothing but. Throw on top worries about sort of standing still in life and of course these problems have kept me standing still and they've not allowed me to go on and do the things I've wanted to do in my life uh, unfortunately very often when I've had to sit back and watch other people go on and enjoy things what they want um, and what they're doing fantastic I would never ever stop anybody and I'd never wish anybody anything but success and good fortune and the best of luck but sometimes there comes a point when you look in the mirror and you think to yourself, I can't be bothered today. I'm not going to do it today. And I urge you, when that happens, keep pushing on. Keep pushing on when times are tough because you will see the reward soon. That's what I'm telling myself. This coming Monday, I have a pre-assessment for my next, my next operation. I am absolutely dreading it because it's a two hour car journey to the hospital of which I have to, it's a specialist hospital which I have to go to. Um, and I'm absolutely dreading it because I cannot manage no longer than about 20 minutes in a car with the problems which I've got. Um, and by the way, if you're interested in that, do have a look on my channel. I've called it Hire Nightmare because that's exactly what it's been. It's been nearly four years of battling appointment after appointment, scan after scan, test after test, operation after operation and this will be my fourth one coming up and hopefully it will be my last but coming away from that slightly you can you can you can have two choices can't you in life you can either sit down and let it happen and I've done that believe you me I've done that or you can think to yourself actually I can keep going and I am a true believer of these things have a way of making you stronger and you know, I've been to the doctors today because on top of everything which I've got, the overactive bladder, the horrendous problems there, the other hernia in my groin, the pain, the discomfort, the not being able to walk around properly, having to use crutches to walk around. Um, I felt pretty rubbish for a long time, really rubbish for a long time. Something what I'd love in my life, um, I'd love a girlfriend. I have not got the confidence to put that out there um, or even approach that because... No, I just can't the way I am at the moment with the problems going on. How on earth? How on earth could I? No, I'd love to have, I'd love to have my own home. Let's put it this way, I wouldn't be able to manage with my health problems, have amazing parents. Um, and I still live in the family home. I wouldn't be able to manage. Physically, right now, I would not be able to manage my career. I want to be able to move on. I want to be able to push further. I can't because of the problems which I've got. But I'm sort of bolstering that just one moment and I'm thinking to myself get over this hur this hurdle of this operation and all of this is just going to go and it's just going to be amazing and I'm going to be able to get on with my life so that's my choice to think like that I could think well actually time has passed got another operation coming up I just stay comfortable no when life gets comfortable my twin brother taught me that when life gets comfortable make it uncomfortable it's time to move on it's time to do something You've got to spice your life up success doesn't come for free you've got to work hard for it and that's exactly what I'm intending to do so I suppose what I'm saying is yes life is tough Yes, it is. Absolutely. I know that. I know that. I certainly do. I'm thankful every single day that this is a problem which I hope can be resolved. I'm thankful every single day that I still get the opportunity to take one step in front of the other one day after the next. Some people don't have that. After this coronavirus pandemic, so many people have lost their lives. I have no right to sit here and moan, complain, when other people have lost their life, their right to moan or complain. 
So having said that, when life gets tough, don't just sit there. You have an amazing life already. Sometimes you just need to look right in front of you. And you know what? When it does get tough, pull your chest out, raise a little bit higher and tell yourself in the mirror, you're going to get through this. You're going to be fine and you're going to absolutely see the reward real soon. Seems strange that I should say that, doesn't it? But it's been something which has been on my mind for a while now. Every day I wake up first thing in the morning, half past five, ready for work. I start work at half past six. I work from home at the moment. Every day I think to myself with how uncomfortable waking up throughout the night so many times. Like I said, I went to the doctors today because on top of all of my problems, I've got severe congestion here, very, very painful. So I've got an infection up here. So I've got some tablets and things going on. But to be honest with you, it doesn't surprise me. It's just another issue, another another sort of challenge. But I get through this. Challenges are thrown at us all the time. It's, isn't it? Isn't, doesn't the saying go, it's not how you, it's not how you fall down. It's how you get back up. Love that. For me, I get up with grace. I get up with strength and determination. My nan taught me that. My mum taught me that. You have to keep moving on. You have to stay strong. Why wouldn't you? There are many reasons why you wouldn't. And my heart goes out to you for that. It's not easy. I've had my dark days. I've had really, really difficult times. I still have them. I probably will have them. I'll probably have one tomorrow. But keep telling yourself. Keep telling yourself that. Keep going. You'll see the reward soon. When things get tough, keep going. You'll see the reward soon. And I hope to be seeing my reward soon with my life coming together. And you know what? You will see yours real soon too. Something which had been playing my mind for quite a while and I thought to myself, Do you know what, I'm really going to put that on my YouTube channel. If you don't feel confident, fake it till you make it. If you don't feel happy, again, slightly different, but smile, the power of just smiling, stop worrying. That's easy because I, that is not easy because I cannot stop worrying. But uh, one of my colleagues um, said to me this week, why worry about things you have no control over? And I'm, I'm really trying to get a grasp of that because it's not going to add another day to your life, is it? It's not going to add another five minutes, not even a second. So why worry? When things get tough, keep going. That's what we've just got to do. Breathe, dust yourself off, keep going. You'll see the reward soon, I'm sure. And I hope I will too. And remember that. It doesn't matter how you fall down, it's how you get back up. So if you're at your lowest right now, slowly take your time. Look around you, there'll be people who will be holding their hand out to help you. You'll get there. You'll rise and you will enjoy and you'll look back on this moment and hopefully with pride, with dignity, with confidence, and you'll just smile and think, I done it. You will. I know I'm going. You have to. You have to find the strength from somewhere. Life is so precious and valuable. Sometimes you just got to find the spice of it. You just got to wake yourself up and think, actually, this life is for living. Let's start doing it. Not that easy. I know it's not. What are we? Just coming up to nine minutes. Nine minutes is not going to change your thought process. It's not going to change your worries. But if it just gives you a little bit of an incentive to think, actually, I need to change, then I've done my job. Thanks very much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you then. Bye bye now.